guys welcome back to my channel my name is sandra today i have a finale for you i'm filming a little bit early today is may 12th and this is supposed to end on may 16th but i don't think i can hit any more goals so i'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it up um i'll still post on the 16th but i just wanted to let you know that i am filming a couple days early so this is the finale for throwback 30 it will be back this year just a little later because we did just start um uh the 50 shades of pink project pan with the fantastic ladies over on facebook so it will be back if you want to join it's just going to be a couple months i'm not sure when yet but i had six items left out of the 30 which is pretty awesome um i did hit goal on one of them but i'm just gonna go ahead and read the weights to you to see if anything changed so for the Disney Princess, I chose Ariel and for that I chose the Clinique Pansy Pop Blush. This one is finishing up at 36.5 grams. It's looking like this. As you can see, it's pretty worn and I'm so excited about that. I actually really, really love this color. Um, I have um, come to grow very fond of it. So I'm so happy I put this in this project. Um, I don't think I would have gotten nearly as much use if it hadn't been for this project. Sorry. I should really put on lipstick, like, in a mirror because I can't see. I put it on right before filming. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Next, for 50 Shades of Panning, I did choose the Urban Decay um, Endgame. It, the whole palette weighs 147.4 grams. So end game is the brown shade right there i don't know if you can see that little dip right there it does kind of look like a line because i primarily put this in um for my brows but i didn't i didn't really get a ton of use out of it but it's okay um next what i have on my lips right now is for disney's animated films and i had chosen mulan and this one ended up at 19.1 grams. I knew I was not going to finish this. Um, so it's looking like this. I did get a lot of use out of it. I think I maybe finished like um, a fourth of what when I put it in. Um, which is not much. But I... So I, I think I've had this for... Oh god, I checked my Instagram. I think I've had it for like five or six years so i mean it still smells fine it still applies fine um but i do have a dupe for this that's a little newer it's from milani um it's not super newer like maybe three four years <laughs> i got it um but yeah i'm not sure if i want to declutter this or just kind of pick it up whenever i feel like using it um because it still does apply fine i haven't had any uh reactions or anything so it's just old. <laughs> MAC lipsticks actually last a really long time. Okay, so for that one, okay. And then for Drop 10 Before Summer, I had chosen the Becca Sunset Waves. It weighs 63.8 pounds, uh, pounds, grams. <laughs> I did franking it, well not franking it, I just smushed it all together. I am wearing that today um, under a MAC bronzer that I'm working on. But this one, I think I might put away uh, for a bit, I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Um, but yeah, working on, I was working on that one. Um, it was really, really hard for me to grab for it. So that's why I ended up crushing it all together. Um, and I do like it better that way. And I have been reaching for it a ton more. Um, but I have another, I have the MAC bronzer that I'd like to hit pan on in my 20 and 2020, I think think i don't know in another project um so i kind of want to focus on that one and my physicians the butter bronzer um because i do want to finish my butter bronzer i don't know i haven't decided we'll see it's kind of cold and gloomy here even though it's been like really hot last week um but depending on the weather and if i want to pull for it or not but it's not going to be a priority anymore i guess is what i'm trying to say <laughs> um next for fall for you i had chosen max uh brow pomade with this one my goal originally was to hit pan um we are finishing off at 41.5 grams i think it started at 43 so it looks like this there is a big hole 
I just wanted to see how deep it was. But you can see like on the side, you can see through the glass, it's like lifting a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to continue using it. It's what I'm wearing in my brows today. Um, for a while, this was my only brow colored product. Um, so that's why I was like, oh, it's fine. Like, I'll just focus on this. I'm gonna keep using it. I wanna see how long it takes to um, to finish that up. So that'd be pretty cool. And then for Burstone Beauty, I chose January because I had a Stila Garnet Duo. This one ended up at 31.5 grams and I did manage to hit pan right there. I like to use this um, with the next item I'm gonna talk about. Um, but I like to use this on the lower lash line as well, uh, which looks like why it looks like straight down um this is not my favorite product in the world um i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna do with it if i'm gonna keep it declutter it i'm not i'm not sure yet um we'll see i mean it's really pretty like when you swatch it it's beautiful but i feel like it doesn't translate as well on the eyes um so so we'll see we'll see what happens with that one so the last one is for Cupid's bow and for that one I put ABH Love Letter in it. My original goal was to finish this and then last month I said I would try and hit um, side pan. Um, but I didn't quite get there. I did um, kind of flatten it out what, like on the side of where the end sticker is. Um, but yeah, I really liked pairing the Stila and this together. If I wore one, I wore the other. Um, but yeah. I'm still going to work on this palette because I'm working on tempura. I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, so, so I'm going to keep working on this palette because I do have a shade in here. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That is my finale for Throwback 30. I can't wait for it to come back. I know it's kind of crazy because I'm working on my 20 and 2020, which originally started with 40 products and then i'm doing the 50 shades of pink um but i don't know i really really like this i'm also doing a to z um so it's a lot of products but i actually really enjoy this project concept because you cannot possibly do all the projects it's just way too much and you know you wouldn't really be making progress on anything and honestly I hate missing out on projects <laughs> so when I saw that this came out last year um this was a year like pro project pen I was like man I have to jump on this because you know you get kind of a little taste of every project um that Jessica decided to put in there so I think it's a really good way to kind of like dip your toes and if you find you know a project interesting but can't quite come up with the products or link prompts or anything like that this is the perfect project to do because you can kind of like you know jump around and and kind of choose what um which products you want to use for the prompts without joining in on all of the projects <laughs> um so yeah that's it for me today thank you guys so much for watching i cannot wait to find out when we will be starting uh, round two of this. Um, if you did this, let me know. I will go check out your finales as well. And I think 25 out of 30 isn't too shabby. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.